We're out here in the Bonneville Salt Flats tonight to try and capture the supermoon. There's two things that have gone wrong with our plans. One thing you can't predict, without the rain recently, we thought we'd be okay and have a nice dry Bonneville Salt Flat entrance area at least, maybe some areas puddly. No, the entire place is a lake. And so now we are faced with the decision of how can we make our super moon shot work out? Yeah, if we're lucky, the water can calm down. Like this is pretty still here, but it gets choppier as it goes out. Yeah. So if the wind dies down a little bit, we might be in luck. It could be really cool. It'd be cool if we had a reflective super moon with the terrain. It's mostly a flat, empty terrain. And so we don't have any real cool foreground element like the salty textured salt flats that I was hoping to make my foreground. Unfortunately, yeah. we're stuck with only reflective water as our option. We can't drive anywhere fast enough. The only place that we can go to and turn around if it doesn't work out is about 20 miles away, if not more, and so we'd be missing it. The supermoon rises in about, what time is it right now? Yeah, it's uh, 3 or 5.35. 5.35, so we have less than 20 minutes before it rises, and it's just a work with what we got time. So let's see what we can create out of this. If anything, we can get maybe this no foreground, if you guys can see that. This, the water's pretty still right along the edge here. So let's go ahead and go to our side and see what we got to work with. Yeah, so this is my niece, <laughs> hey. Michaela. She's joining us tonight because she's always wanted to go on a photog adventure. So here's my augmented reality app using photo pills and it's telling me where that moon is coming across on the horizon. If I look over this way I can see the moon's not there and if I look over too far I'm away from the moon but if I look this direction I'm moon. facing right at the moon but like Brendan just said we are dealing with a heavy cloud bank that has come in from Colorado it feels like because it wasn't over here and it's most likely that we are not going to see this moon until it rises another 10 more minutes which is very discouraging see that tiny speck of light the clouds aren't as thick as we thought they might be it turns out that it was just on the horizon that it's being blocked that moon is almost entirely open it's going to head into more clouds but while we have this window we're taking and taking a lot of shots Hey guys, so we're wrapped up with tonight. The super moon was awesome. Turned to, out pretty well, actually. Yeah, being here in person is definitely like amazing, but whether or not our pictures really turned out as well as we hoped it, they would, eh, I mean, Aaron got a time lapse, so we're gonna see how that turns out. So we got some processing to do. We'll see how it goes. Maybe, maybe there's something cool in there. Yeah, I honestly feel like I didn't have anything in my frame to make it interesting enough on its own in a still. So I think it came to salvaging it with the time lapse. I'm not sure I'm satisfied with any one image as a portfolio piece, but it's great for all of our branding and images, the podcast, yeah. cover art, something like that. So with the salt flats, you never know what you're gonna get. Yeah. Uh, apparently this time of year, it could be two inches or three inches of water oh, over and I the entire the, surface. I, I talked to the guy at the gas station. I said, hey, so is there any way to know when it's flooded? Does it have some sort of site online that says, hey, the salt flats are filled right now or not Ooh. filled? He said, no, there's yeah. nothing that I know about. Yeah. Basically, it could rain that week and then it's flooded and that's it. So they have the land speed tests in this same location right out here every year in August. And I'm guessing it's because it's the driest season. After a full month of being dry or something. Yeah, yeah. or it evaporates so much faster. So, so next August is when we need to come back? Maybe, okay. yeah. Yeah, we'll come. We'll, we'll try to come back next August when it's dry. It's pretty much guaranteed to dry. You can get some cool salt crystals in our shots and that'd be pretty awesome. So anyways, thanks for joining us guys. Uh, this is a really short video for you, but uh, hope you liked it. And as always, like and subscribe and share this video with your friends if you think it's cool. See you next time. See you guys.